Welcome in then to the latest edition of Extra Time. Ali, Shaka here in the studio. Luis Garcia oh. uh, joins us as well. Actually, Luis was the sender of the first oh, question. Oh, I wow. see. Well, uh, on I Extra see. Time. Is he getting preferential treatment uh, of some kind uh, here? This, well, did he put a hashtag FC Extra uh, Time? Oh, no, it's all right. Uh, Luis, uh, what was, what, he did put a smiley face at the end, which is a little uh, uh, <laughs> passive aggressive. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Luis, would you like to read your question? Uh, question for Ale. Should Barca Football Club Barcelona sell Dembele now? Or he already done a good job during the season, Ali? Well, this is a discussion you had last summer, of course. Uh -huh. You're not a fan of Dembele. Mm -hmm. uh, Luis is very much right. a fan. And so. My, were you wrong? That's basically the question. I, I, well, essentially, that's what he's getting <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, was Luis right? <laughs> and the answer is, Luis was not right. Oh, no. stubborn. No, <laughs> no, and, and no, were my, you wrong? My opinion on Dembele <laughs> has not changed. In the moment in which he's good, he's really good. But yet again, this season, a big chunk of the season, he was missing with an injury. And that still something that affects his career and affects what he does or doesn't do for Barcelona. He's not useful to me if he's sitting in the stands. That was the reality of this season as well. Do you agree, Luis? No, no, I don't agree again. <laughs> no, how is possible that the best player during 75% of the season and because he's got injured, not because he wasn't playing well, because he got injured at the end of this season happened because if he can do that, I mean, Lewandowski is been without scoring a goal, I think, eight, nine games. We should say that he hasn't been uh, a good uh, season for him. And eight, nine games is kind of what uh, Dembele has missed in the past couple of months. So I think that Dembele has been a very important key player for Barcelona to win La Liga and to win Supercopa, at least to, to uh, Silverware. And for next season, it's going to be even more important. Of course, I know that your main concern is that that inconsistency, but I think this season he proved that if he's regularly involved, he can keep a, a good pace and he's been fantastic, outstanding. Now we have a question. How is he regularly involved if he's injured two months? You have to write in. Huh? You got to write, write in. Yeah, huh? write in with your question. Right. FC, uh, extra time. You can put a smiley face time. if you like. Uh, oh, <laughs> is, that, is that what it, if I put a smiley face, does that get my question in? I don't even think your phone has the capability. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Luis, be honest. How much relief? I'll send the question next time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Luis, how much relief is it to see Messi heading to Miami and not disrupt the team Xavi has developed over the past two seasons? Mm. Ah. I don't know. I mean, I, I know that uh, that some a lot of people think that if Messi arrived to Barcelona, it's going to be a, a distraction for what is uh, Xavi building for the future. In there, that transition of being without Lionel Messi winning La Liga and focusing on what is coming next. But I still think that Lionel Messi is capable of giving Barcelona an extra, something different that uh, you cannot find anywhere else. Something that when uh, matters the most, when uh, you have to face top teams in, in the Champs League, not in La Liga, maybe in Champs League, you need this kind of moment of, 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 of talent, of uh, uh, something unexpected, and Lionel Messi is capable of doing that kind of thing. So. I don't think that is a relief. It's true that they're going and making soon, at least he made, made the, the decision very soon, early on the summer, they can start building up what is coming next. But I'm sure that Xavi was expecting him to arrive and he was maybe thinking about what we are going to do next with Messi into the, involved in the squad. Shaka, does Messi have to win an MLS Cup for you to consider him better than Pele? <laughs> Did Pelé win an MLS Cup? Nope. No, <laughs> well, no, he didn't. What an underachiever he is. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, <laughs> he did win the NASL. Yes. Oh, did he? Yes. Yeah. Well, then, yes. Yes. It's very, you know, still, not, not still, Columbus on a Tuesday night. Hey, That's, let me uh, tell you something. Somebody who played well on Columbus on a Tuesday night. Oh, oh goodness There play. we go. Oh, still oh, song. Oh. Uh, which final was worse to watch? Liverpool against Tottenham or Manchester City against Inter? 
I can't remember the Liverpool against So the Liverpool one was, Harry Kane wasn't fit but played, penalty was conceded early, pretty much the game was done once Spurs conceded the penalty. But the way, the way you, des the way you describe it there, it didn't sound like much of a final. Yeah. Well, there were two goals, first time there's been two goals in five years when you take a look at the fact the last four, four finals being 1-0, but obviously you can't tally things on goals alone. Can I just tell you, the amount of research that you put in for this show... I know, it's, it's impressive. It, it really is. Yes, very much. You have turned the page. But, but to be fair, you're it growing. might just be the general knowledge I have in my brain. Well, anyway. That, you're, <laughs> you're maturing. So you, you, what do we say? Both are rubbish. I mean, if Spurs is in the finals, probably not going to be good, so... Wow. Wow. Uh, Luis? I'm just saying. Which was worse? Spurs, Liverpool, City, Inter? <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, both uh, weren't very good. I think I was disappointed in the Liverpool one because I was expecting a, a fantastic game. Liverpool was, was in a fantastic uh, uh, moment. I think Tottenham did an amazing job arriving to the final after what happened in, against Ajax. So you were expecting something special. And definitely with that early penalty, I think we throw away every expectation. So, yeah, yeah, I think it was even, yeah, I think it was worse uh, than Tottenham Liverpool. And, um, sadly. But at least the Liverpool game was in, in Liverpool first in Madrid. It's an easy commute for you. That's it, Luis. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was good. That's what it comes down to. And I had fun. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we got to uh, it in the end. Yeah. And that's why you know what happened in the <laughs> that's final. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> Great time. There was a picture of Grealish, there's been many pictures of Grealish, <laughs> still wearing his full kit the next morning after celebrating their Champions League win. Who was the Grealish of your team when you celebrated a big win? And what did the kit smell like the next day? <laughs> oh, Luis, what was it like? What was the smell like in general on that bus? <laughs> yeah, but I can't remember, to be honest, because we were all kind of happy. But uh, I can tell you that <laughs> we're, we're, once, we're all kind of happy. <laughs> once Didi Haman. The German midfielder was one of the ones that, that you could see him with the uh, with the tie here on his face and with the shirt all strapped up and yeah, I think Didi Haman was one of those that enjoy Didi uh, Haman was being the, a party uh, and, and winning. Was the Grealish? Who was the party amongst your group? Jen? Lee Ruby Clark. Later. Lee Clark. Lee Clark. Yes. I don't even have to think that hard for wow. that one. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll do a Luis and say I can't say any more than that. Wow. Mm. Goodness me. Well, <laughs> Emma, when Obviously. You won, when you won MLS Cup, Ali, you were not the party animal. Why, why would you say that? Because I know you, you are... Um... Remember when, when you called your party pooper? Yes. Yes. Called... Yes. <laughs> yes. And I, I accurately <laughs> said... the power rank to the Columbus crew. <laughs> party pooper. <laughs> accurately, I said I'm not, I'm not a party pooper. <laughs> I'm also not a party starter. <laughs> right. If there is a party, I participate. <laughs> who, was the, who was the uh, Jack Grealish? I would say Duncan Alton, right. New Zealand International. Okay. Or oh, New Zealanders can. Uh... Yeah, and um, you know, you win, right? You live the trophy, you're with your family, you're, you spend a lot of time on the field. By the time you get back to the locker room, yeah. there's some people that have already started the party in oh, there. Oh, yes. When I got to the <laughs> locker room, he had, well, no clothes but goggles on because of the beer and the champagne okay. and everything. So he was fully prepared with the goggles. <laughs> so he brought the goggles with him. Well, I imagine the goggles were brought by somebody. I'm, Where I'm not did so these sure. Where goggles come from? <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe the equipment manager. I don't know. Good there were goggles and he had them on and he was just doing with the champagne and I knew right then and there it was probably going to be a good that night. That he was going to have a good night. So. Oh. Hey, it was a good night for me too, Dan. I participated in the party. Well, well done. Yes. Well done. Yes. <laughs> Maturely. <laughs> Those <laughs> talks you had work. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 Luis, who this season has been City's most underappreciated player? Rodri, Akanji, Stones, or maybe someone else? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for Rodri. I think because Gundogan has been exceptional, Alan has been having all the highlights, and uh, I think that Rodri has been amazing. Outstanding, superb during the whole season, even though that uh, it was at the end of the of the season when it was needed the most in the middle of the park. That partnership with the Stones in the middle, I think he worked very well. But when uh, when the team needed a, a player to ha hold the ball, uh, to build it from the back, to arrive in second line, I think he, he's been uh, outstanding. And well, he arrived to the last part of the season, even scoring goals. That that's something very important when when maybe Haaland wasn't 
as active as uh, we've seen in the, pre in, the, in the beginning of the season. So, yeah, I think all of them have done fantastic, but the Rodri, I think, has been super. I don't think Stones has been underappreciated no, at all. No, I think he's got a lot of love. We, oh, we gave him man the match at the weekend. Yeah. That's right, Daniel. Yeah. So he shouldn't be on that list. Well, I don't know. I didn't make the list. Oh, okay, <laughs> Shaka, how good is Onana in comparison to becoming world's number one goalkeeper? I, I have to say, I, I thought he was outstanding in the final. Yeah. I, well, I, throughout the whole of the campaign. He, he, um, I, I thought, but but oftentimes, you know, that your, that's your first birth at, at, at competition at that level. Um, I thought, well, technically outstanding, but just look calm and, and, and look really commanding. Um, all all game long, which which again that first Champions League final, I, I was not. I was oh, Champions not League! Oh, our Ajax supporting producers shouting that he moves in the semi final with Ajax as well. Okay, so first Champions League final. Um, <laughs> yes, he got to the semi final. I I, I I just thought I thought everything about it was was an incredible performance. Uh, Luis, we've seen on your Instagram, of course, you with a lot of uh, famous former footballers in your VIP. Mm. Uh, seats at Istanbul, including Ricardo Kaká, which leads us to the next question, Kaká or Gerard? Oh, that's Ooh. naughty. Mm. It's oh. a tough question, it's a tough question, but it's naughty, yeah, it's naughty, because definitely both of them are legends of the game, but I, I will have, and not because what you're going to think, but I will have Steven Gerard because he can give me something extra. I think Kaká and Gerard are players who go forward, but Jira goes back and tracks back and can play in that final as a fullback. That's something not uh, very often you can have. Also, Jira can score 15 goals that I've seen, 17 goals during a season. And Kaká maybe didn't arrive to that amount of goals. So he gives extra. But, well, it's a very tough question, Kaká. I, I could pick Kaká as well, but I'll go for Jira. In this picture, you're embracing Kaká mm -hmm. and now you're calling him lazy. Yeah. Luis. <laughs> wow. wow. Never track wow. back. Wow. Never goes past the half line. He's not, he, <laughs> <laughs> he's not lazy, but it's true that I haven't seen much Kaka running back behind a... a Whoa. Wow. wow. You love some Kaka. I love Kaka. Yeah. And Gerard kept scoring on me, so you know who I'm going to pick. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm taking Kaka. You're so. taking Kaka as well? Yeah, absolutely. Is Neymar Jr. an all-time great football player? Oh, goodness me. That is a wide-ranging question. He's an all-time great talent. But it hasn't, I, I think for how talented he is, you haven't seen enough of it. Not enough, that's what I said. But it, it's, hard, it's hard not to have him as an all-timer when he tops the list of uh, goal scorers for Brazil internationally. And you, I mean, you talk about talent yes. in the, in the yeah. attacking half, you think Brazil worldwide, right? Still playing more games these days than they did in the past, the opposition. Well, I, I, you know, well you, Maybe so, but you still got to score the goals. I'm just saying, depends on the opposition you compare it to some others. Kept scoring against Venezuela. Uh, <laughs> I'll have you know. Actually, I played against Neymar once, I believe. We yep. tied 0 0 in Copa America 2011, Shaq. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Shaq. <laughs> Neymar was 12. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Shaq. <laughs> uh, Luis, what do you reckon? All time Actually, great? No. <laughs> I, I forgot the yes. 4 0 that we lost. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Oh, there you go. Wrong. Uh, <laughs> yes, Luis? Yes, for me, yes, it's, it's right there. I think sometimes football has no memory. We forget about what, what Neva gave us during eight, nine years. And now it's true that we look back for the last three, four years since he left uh, Barcelona. But he was one of those uh, uh, unbelievable players, one of those that could do everything. And I, I, I won't forget what he did for Barcelona when, when he arrived so young, such a, a young age, and he's built a career and he gave us some of the most un incredible moments. So not only for Barcelona, for like Ali just mentioned, with, for Brazil. So yeah, it has to be right there. I'm not going to tell you in the top three, but it has to be oh. in, in the top of the best in the history. Okay. Luis, let's hear more about that DB9. I missed this. I didn't even mm. know you had a DB9, Luis. Mm. I would, uh, who is asking now about that? <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will post a, a picture in the, in the coming days with the DB9. Uh, it's, where it's where was it that you had it? Getting so fixed. It. I got it. Well, actually, I bought it when, when I got my ACL. I brought my ACL when I was playing for Liverpool. I went to, to Spain and I, I thought about myself. I never had like a, a gift after winning the Champions League. 
now is the right moment to live myself and, and, and well, I bought the, the DB9. So I, I had it for, for quite a few years, but I, I use it. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we all want to know. I want to know. So in my head, I'm thinking 200. Higher or lower? A little bit oh, higher. Oh, wow. A little bit higher. How much was the insurance? <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember. And how long do you have it for? He still has it. I had it for. Oh no. Yes, I still have it. Yeah, I still yeah. have it. I still have it. Eighteen years. Seventy seven years. Oh, very oh nice. wow! There you go. Do you let the kids drive it? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not no. yet. Is it wrong if no. I ask what's a DB9? Also mine. Oh well. Excuse me, Shaka. I'm just, I, uh, don't, I'm just, excuse me, Shaka. I was trying to sit quietly, but he was all like, yeah. <laughs> why, He asked the question, why would you say it quietly? <laughs> well, because he's close to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for Raleigh, oh, we're going to do five. Oh. Let's do your, your top chip flavour. We discussed this yesterday with Stevie. Stevie gets different flavours depending on his mood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, potato chip. Yes. Uh, barbecue. Salt and vinegar. Oh. Mm. Is it, is ranch one of them? Yeah, you can have ranch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, that's your top three. That's yeah, fine. That's fine. Right. Yeah. Okay, now we discussed this as well yesterday. Somehow we were going to Switzerland for Stevie's euthanasia. Oh, and we won't quite go as deep this time. <laughs> You're on death row. Okay. What is your last meal? Ooh. Oh, what a question. Oh. I'm going chip shop. Proper old yeah. fashioned chip shop, sausage, chips, beans, salt and vinegar, the whole shebang. Takes me back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Go ahead, Jack. Now I'm going for a traditional Trinidad and Tobago onion Sunday lunch. Oh, yeah. Macaroni pie, kalu, big chicken. I'm happy. Nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to steak, baby. <laughs> oh, really? You're going old? Just bring me. What's the cut? Bring me a T-bone if you want to. Yes. Me, I mean, bring me the whole thing. And yeah. how, um, how like, well I, do you want it cooked? Every time I eat T-bone, I think thing. the Flintstones. When they come yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's what they're doing. The Brontosaurus. <laughs> yes. Bring, bring me that. Yeah. Um, and whatever. You want trimmings? Uh, yeah, whatever other size you want to bring, so be it. Yes. But a big piece of steak. Uh, Luis? Yeah, I'm going for a, a nice ribeye, medium rare, with a beautiful glass of wine. I'm happy with that. Oh, oh beautiful. What did yeah. we do to get in death row? Yeah. Well, many different ha stories. Uh, like everybody says, I'll be happy with that <laughs> on death row. I'll be happy with that meal on death row. Well, there we are. Mm. That is it. Um, we're done. Uh, oh. Thank you very much. ESPN FC, of course, is with you throughout the... We're here every day. Mm. Oh. Answering these big, crucial questions yeah. about death row. Well, my mom's beef stroganoff is really nice, too. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, too she's, late. She's too so, late now. She's so disappointed. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. She's not, not giving you anything. She's like, I tried so hard with that boy. <laughs> she forgave me. <laughs> He's always a party pooper. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.